Hey guys, and welcome back to the Santa's Bricks. My name is Jevin. Now, there are a lot of crazy and pretty cool things that you can do using LEGO Power Functions. So today, we're going to be using LEGO Power Functions to make a LEGO working clock. So here you can see we have our LEGO clock. Now, first off, you'll see here we have our three hands of our clock. The second hand, the minute hand, and the hour hand. Now, this hand really does turn once every minute, this one once every hour, and this one every 12 hours. So now let's take a look at the inner workings of this clock. So here we have our clock. Now, this entire clock is powered only by one power functions motor. Now, when hooked up to a LEGO Power Functions battery, this motor spins around 375 times per minute. This means that in order for our second hand to go around once every minute, we are going to need to slow this down 375 times. Now a simple way to slow something down, especially when using LEGO power functions, is to use gears. You can see here I have two gears. I have this smaller gear, which is our drive gear since it's hooked up to the motor. And then here I have this larger gear, which is our follower gear, since it's hooked up to the gear that's hooked up onto the motor. So now that I have my gear set up like this, when I activate the motor, you can see this bigger gear spins slower than this first gear. Now we can actually calculate how many times slower this gear is turning by taking the number of teeth, which are these little pegs, on the follower gear divided by the number of teeth on the drive gear. So in this example, our gear ratio would be one and two thirds. So now back to our clock. So as you can see here, I've taken the top off our clock and so now we can see the inner workings of our clock. Now this might look a bit complicated at first, so I'm gonna break this up into a simple step-by-step. -step. So here we have the inner workings of our clock. So let's start out by the motor here. So first off connected to our motor, here we have an 8 tooth gear. Then connected to that we have a 24 tooth gear, taking our gear ratio up to 3. Then on the same shaft as this 24 tooth gear, we have another 8 tooth gear, which is connected then to a 40 tooth gear, bringing our gear ratio up to 15. Then we have two more sets of 8 tooth to 40 tooth gears here and here, bringing our total gear ratio up to 375. This then makes our second hand turn around once every minute. So now for our minute hand, on the same shaft as our second hand, you can see right here I have this worm tooth gear. Now this worm gear technically only has one tooth that is just curved around multiple times in a spiral. That is then connected to a 60 tooth gear, bringing our gear ratio in between the second and minute hand up to 60. This makes sense because there are 60 seconds in one minute. And also because if our second hand turns around once every minute, then our minute hand is going to turn around once every hour. Then here we have these two 12 tooth gears up at the top. Really, since that's 12 connected to 12, that just stays as one not affecting the overall speed of our shaft. This shaft then continues to connect to our minute hand, which will spin around once every hour. Now on that same shaft, here we, you can see we have a, another worm gear, which is connected to a 12 tooth gear which then brings our gear ratio in between the minute and hour hand up to 12. And this makes sense seeing as how we'll want the hour hand to turn around once every 12 hours, or once every 12 turns of our minute hand. From there, as we continue down the shaft, again we have two of these tan 12 tooth gears, and again all that really does is it just changes its direction from going this way to going out. That then is connected to our hour hand, which will spin around twice each day or every 12 hours. Now then, let's give it one final test just to make sure that this mechanism works. Huh? 
Then we just build the outside around that inside, and then we get our clock. Alright guys, and so that is our Lego working clock. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe right down there.